everyone it's Nicole and I'm here with my last layout that I made at the crop back in November I can't believe they the videos lasted this long but this is the last one and uh, I was so glad that I was able to do that to bring my camera and and get all these layouts filmed because these were all page kits that I had put together with you guys on real time and you know on YouTube and then I felt a little bad going to a crop and getting all those done and then you would just see sort of the end of the process you know this is all the layouts I got done at the crop and um, so I was able I was glad that I was able to show the pro the process for each and every single one of the videos or the page kits now this layout was super quick uh it took 20, 20 26 minutes to complete and uh, i just took that background and i cut it down to about 11 and three quarters by 11 and three quarters i mounted my photo in the center of the cardstock and the reason i do that is then i'm able to use that cardstock again and use it as a mat uh, like i'm showing you right now as a mat for an entire layout so I'm putting the pattern paper right over top. So if I would have matted my photo to, let's say, the top left of the cardstock, then that I would have had all that scrap in my scraps, and I don't like that. I'd rather just cut out of the center and then use it right away or soonish. And even though the center is cut out, I can just put it back in my stash. I put it with the full cardstock and then if I ever need a cardstock of that color to mat a full layout and even if I need to mat another picture there's still lots of room in on that cardstock that I can mat another layout. So I had a couple of six by six pattern papers on this and I'm going to use it to mat um, my photo and I'm just going to take the six by six and put it offset off each other and one side of it I'll be able to do the journaling because it's a nice lined pattern paper and the other one is um, florals and this is going to be like I said a simple layout I'm just going to use what I put with this page kit and it came together super quickly and while I'm just you know Putting the embellishments together I just want to remind you that in a couple of days a few days my scrapathon which is my first scrapathon and what it is it's going to be a regular class so I'm going to be doing a regular layout for every day of the month so that's 31 process videos that you're going to get and it's going to be released one each and every day of the month. The difference is, is I'm going to have a special Facebook group or there is a face, it's already up, um, up and running. And every day we're going to be discussing the, the different prompts for that specific day. So normally if, you know, if I have a class and I focus on six by six, then, you know, all 15 layouts are about the six by six. Well, this time it's going to have 31 different prompts and I'm so excited. I was feeling a little slumpish, you know, with, you know, scrapping and stuff. And I feel that this has really got my mojo going and, you know, I'm going to get 31 layouts done in the month of March and I think I'm going to get a little bit more because some of the days during the month of March I'm going to have some Facebook live which we're going to put some brand new layouts together so not ones that you know that you're going to receive that morning because every morning you'll be receiving a new video a new scrapbook video and so this is going to be you know extra and then also um we're going to be chatting about the different prompts. I think it's going to be a good time and I think that it'll be fun to motivate each other to get a bunch of scrapping done. So if you're interested in this class, in every single video, there's always a link to my classes in the description box below. So if you click on that link, it brings you to my store part of my blog and all my classes are there. 
But quickly to get back to this layout, like I said, this was super quick. It took 26 minutes to complete. And um, it's a picture of a Starbucks cup. And what I'm gonna journal about is on like on a regular Tuesday, I don't go to Starbucks and get a coffee. Most times I, I have a Keurig machine, so I make my own coffee at home. And then the little bit that I, when I do work, I will usually just go uh, in Canada. What's really big here is Tim Hortons. And I'll just go and just get a regular coffee at Tim Hortons for the three shifts that I work. And then, you know, that's it. So when we travel, my treat is to get a Starbucks and I get a vanilla latte. I get a grande and a venti cup because I want extra cream, whipped cream. <laughs> and that's my treat. And every time that we travel at all, or even, you know, it doesn't have to be like a big trip, but if we go in, you know, on a day trip or anything like that, that's usually my little treat is what I will get. So the title for this is just happy and it totally makes me happy. And because I don't get it all the time, it makes it so that it is a treat. So I had a die cut that was sort of like all big, big buildings and I wanted to use that because it reminded me of the trip. I did uh, three spots where I did some embellishment clusters and then I added some mist and that's it. That's going to complete this layout. And and I hope you're coming to join me for the Scrapathon from March 1st to March 31st. If you're new to my channel, don't forget to hit subscribe. And if you're enjoying these videos, if you wouldn't mind giving me a thumbs up and maybe leave me a comment down below. And I want to thank you so much for watching. Bye.